Unlock endless radio possibilities. Join the community of tinkerers and innovate together. I guess I'll just do the announcement now. 108 chip, which exposes a couple of GPIO pins. And if you're using Direwolf or AllStar, those are already supported. And if you're not, if you're using something like WSJTX or JS8 Call, you can just use Box. It'll do audio in and out to the radio, and then it will do PTT, and it will do carrier-operated squelch, so that if someone is talking and your radio is busy, you can't talk through. Yep. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna try and double double up on a transmit at the same time. Can you connect it to an Android phone? You can. So you can use an app like FT8CN to connect to your QRP rig and do FT8 park activations from the field. And it's at this point, it's meant for tinkerers and we're developing some daughter boards to go onto it. And once you get the board in hand, you'll be able to make your own daughter board or make your own wiring connections or whatever. The first one that we have set up is for the six pin mini DIN radio standard that you can get on ICOMs, Kenwoods and Yezu radios. And then you can easily adapt the, the bare board without that to work on any radio at all and even stick it inside of a radio. So like those 10 meter export radios that you can hot wire to go 10, 11, 12, 15, you'll be able to drop this thing in, expose, it can be a Piat and expose a USB-C port on the back of those 10 meter export radios. So you can, you can free band FT8 if you want. Sweet. So this has got way more functionality than something like the all-in-one board, the AIOC board or, or yeah. that. But um, it can work with any any radio, any mode, as long as y'all tinkerers get in there and, and tinker away with it. And so that's that's part of it is it's going to be a real community thing and hopefully get some of us back into tinkering and, you know, figuring out what value of resistors and capacitors we need and so on.